Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tarr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to mod and install Fabric on the official Minecraft launcher running on macOS. So Fabric is often a dependency that other mods will use and we're going to install one of those mods and get it working on the official version of the Minecraft launcher. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Minecraft macOS tutorials. So to begin with, we're going to start with the Minecraft.net website. You can actually purchase this if you haven't bought Minecraft Java already. I'm going to click Get Minecraft here, and I'm going to make sure to log into my account. And we're going to select the computer, and we're going to download the Java edition. So the version that we're going to be downloading is cross-platform. We can play between Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems. And this is the Java edition, which is different from the Bedrock edition, which is compatible with consoles or with the Microsoft Store on Windows computers. So here then press the download button and press download for Mac OS. Once we've downloaded Minecraft, we're going to go to Finder. So in our downloads folder, I'm going to double click on Minecraft.dmg and then I'm going to move the Minecraft icon into applications. So within applications, I can go ahead and double click on Minecraft here, press the open button. And here it's going to start doing an update for us. So here we're going to log in with our account. I want to log in with my Microsoft account. So here we've got access to the latest version. I'm going to select 1.18.2 and press play. So Minecraft has now loaded up and you can see that it's using Java here and it's using the Intel type of Java, which means that we're using the Rosetta 2 translation layer in order to run this game. So now I'm going to do just options and video settings, and then we're just going to tweak these settings so that we can see what's happening. So in order to install Fabric, we're going to also install the latest version of Java. So I'm going to leave a link to this azul.com website in the description. That's going to automatically bring us to Java 18, which is the latest version of the time recording, and also filtering for macOS, ARM 64-bit, and for the JDK. And here we're going to download the .dmg file. So here I'm going to open up my downloads folder, and I've got my Zulu 18 here. I'm going to double click on this, and then we're going to double click on this to install the PKG. Press continue, install, type in our password and then let this install. Once that's finished, we'll close this, move to bin. So next thing that we need to do is to download the Fabric installer. So I'm going to leave a link to fabricmc.net. We're going to download the universal.jar version, which is going to install this into Minecraft launcher for you. So once that's in our downloads folder, we're going to double click on this. And because we have Java installed, this window has come up. If you don't have Java installed, this won't come up at all. And it's showing here that we have Minecraft installed and we're going to install Fabric inside this version of Minecraft, which is the Rosetta 2 version. So press install here and press OK. So the mod that I'm interested in today is the frame rate counter mod. So I'm gonna download this and put it into my downloads folder. So now we're gonna launch Minecraft by going to applications and then double clicking on the Minecraft icon. You'll know that Fabric is installed because we now have the option here to click on this down arrow. And then we've got the latest version here, which is the non-modded version, but we use Fabric Loader to load up Fabric. So the last thing we should do before we launch is we should put any mods we want into the correct folder. So I've got my FPS display mod here. I'm just going to control click and then press copy. And then I'm going to put this in the Minecraft mods folder. So I'm going to press the go button on finder. And then we're going to hold down the option key, which is a key on your keyboard. So the option key will toggle the library button here. And we're going to click on this. Then we'll double click on application support. Then we'll find Minecraft. And then basically we have this folder here. We're going to create a new folder by clicking file and the new folder. And then we're going to type in the word mods, press return, double click on here. Then we're going to control click and then paste the FPS mod here. So FPS displays there. And now we're going to go ahead and load the game. We're going to click, I understand the risks and press play. So you'll see here that it says that the fabric has been modded. So now we're letting Minecraft load. So now you can see that on the top left hand side of the screen, the frame rate tracking mod that we installed in the mods folder is now displaying the frame rate on the top left hand side of the screen. So that's all working correctly. So now you can see that on the top left hand side of the screen, we have frame rate tracking, and that's because of the mod that we installed earlier on inside the mods folder of the Minecraft application support folder. So that's tracking all correctly without having to download anything else. So all we needed to do was install Fabric and then install the frame rate tracking mod. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I actually have other video tutorials about how to get Minecraft working on native ARM, which is going to work much faster than this Rosetta 2 version. It's the many MC tutorial which has been optimized for the native arm chip so please check it out if you'd like to find out more so anyway i hope you found this video useful if you did please like please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video